Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode, we're going to be covering some more tools. Today, we're going to be covering um, what I thought would be an interesting topic, which is how to shake uh, miniature hobby paint dropper bottles. Um, I've been using these now for quite a while, and uh, as they sit, the dropper bottles end up separating between the actual pigments and the, the liquid of the paint. So I've seen some posts where people have used various different things to make shakers for the paint dropper bottles. And I also tried to follow suit. And my first attempt was to use just a simple piece of PVC. I had this scrap piece of PVC. Um, I just cut a slit in the side and the dropper bottle would be able to just slip inside and I could use it as a shaker. Um, I'm using a jigsaw as the shaker base and all I did was basically use a hose clamp to attach this to a jigsaw blade and it would shake the, the bottle. The problem with the, the PVC was um, as it shook, it tended to shake the bottle loose and it would come out the end and that wasn't a very good solution. I always had to have my hand over it just to make sure it wouldn't fly across the room um, as it shook loose. The other problem with the PVC that I, from a, from a community standpoint, was uh, this is kind of a custom um, size PVC. This is not a standard um, water PVC pipe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I got it, but it's a very thin walled PVC that happened to fit these bottles really perfectly. And I, I wanted to make something that I could share with the community a little bit more. So this PVC pipe wasn't going to be the ticket. Um, I recently got a 3D printer, so I decided to start playing with some 3D prints of um, things that could be used to do the same kind of shaking. Uh, my first attempt was to make a, um, a little piece like this, so it would basically do the same thing as the dropper bottle, but this one ended up being a little bit too short, so this one didn't work. And I found out a couple of different things as I played with this one that I wanted to make better, so I made another print. My next print ended up looking like this. This one actually worked pretty well, and actually too well, for keeping the, the dropper bottle inside of it. Um, it does fit right inside of it. And as the jigsaw shakes, it doesn't come out, which is awesome. And it's very easy to attach to the jigsaw blade. I just used, on this one, I'm just using some zip ties that attach right, right to the uh, jigsaw blade that goes into the jigsaw, and it, and it shakes up very well. The problem with this one is as it sits in the jigsaw, it was a little bit hard to get the bottle out. The, the four prongs that hold the bottle in made it very difficult to get at the bottle. Um, you can pop it out the, the back, but it was also still very difficult to pop this one free. And I'm actually having trouble getting this one free. So that was the problem with that one. So I decided to go back to the drawing board and cut off two of the prongs as I did the, the print. What I ended up with is this one that I actually have mounted to the, the jigsaw right now. And it only has two prongs instead of the four prongs. And that, I think, is a much better solution. It makes it much easier to grab the bottle. So now you can simply pop this into the, the jig and it sits down inside of the, um, the recess. And you can simply shake it. And you end up with a really nice uh, shaken paint and then pop it out and you're ready to use it. It uh, is designed to do both the um, army painter paints and the model color paints. That's what I happen to have. Um, but both of them work fine in this jig. And I'm going to have a link to the STL file if you want to go and download this. Um, feel free to download it and print it and use it as a paint shaker. All, uh, you obviously need a jigsaw to go along with it. It doesn't really work without a jigsaw. Uh, but otherwise, you just attach it to a jigsaw blade and pop it in, shake it up, pop it out, and you can have nice, nice even, evenly shook paint. Um, 
There's a couple other features on this one that I want to point out. It is uh, attachable via the hose clamp. You can see I just have a hose clamp going around. It attaches to the jigsaw blade, or you can just use zip ties. That's easy enough too. Um, I haven't had an issue with the zip ties breaking, but if it does, just add some more zip ties, I guess. That isn't too big of a deal. The other feature on this one is I added a little bit of a recess on the back so that as the bottle goes in, it is easier to pop it out from the back side as it's sitting in here. So you can just put your finger in, pop the bottle out on the back side if you can't get a, a good enough grip on the front. So that is the quick review of the paint shaker. If you're interested, go ahead and download uh, the STL file and print your own. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to put them into the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe and hope to see you again next time. Thank you.